Hi there. Welcome to 11th video in this series which is on business requirement document. In this video we will cover what are business requirements in IT, what is a business requirement document and why is it needed. We will also cover business requirement document structure and then the checklist for business requirement document completion. Now what are business requirements in IT? Business requirements capture the expectations of business from the project and its deliverables. Business requirements will define the purpose of the project, the background behind the project and what is the scope of project or what is being achieved with this completion of these business requirements. Now what is business requirement document in IT? Business requirement document will be the reference document for identification and documentation of business requirements. A BRD as in short form will define the business opportunities which the project will bring. Business requirement document will also define what are the available opportunities or the benefits of the project, what is the current state of the project or if there is no and then what is the target state of the project and what is achieved by the business requirement once completed. A BRD also acts as an agreement document between business and delivery team. A signed off BRD will mean that business approves the requirements captured in the document. Now why is a business requirement document or a BRD is needed at all? A signed off BRD will act as a reference document for the business requirements. So if multiple people want to refer regarding the business requirements of a project, they can refer to one single signed off BRD. To communicate between different stakeholders regarding the project, a BRD is very helpful as a BRD or the document can be shared with multiple stakeholders for their reviews and comments. A BRD usually captures high level requirements of a project, but it is important to be clear on what are the in scope requirements and what are out of scope requirements for the project, which a BRD can help with. Requirements documented in a BRD also helps remove ambiguity over the requirements as it will be very clearly defined in the document what is supposed to be done and what is supposed to be achieved. A BRD also helps the project or delivery team to get sign off from the business as a BRD will act as a reference document to which business has agreed that these are the requirements which will be delivered and if there are any caveats to those requirements those are already captured in the document and signed off by the business. It is important to follow a standard structure for business requirement document. Although different organizations may use different structure, but the points we have mentioned below will usually be needed to be covered in each and every business requirement document. However, the order can vary from organization to organization. Top of the document structure is version control where you show progress between different versions and if any major changes have been done in different versions. After version control is stakeholder identification part where you identify different business IT and delivery stakeholders. Also the stakeholders who are gonna provide the sign off can also be mentioned here. Next is table of contents or index. Please remember to refresh your table of contents or index post every version update of the document. Glossary part contains all the terms or acronyms which will be used in the document so that the reader of the document doesn't face difficulty when he looks at any acronym. After glossary, here comes the part where the business requirements will be actually captured. Introduction part of the BRD will help a reader understand the background of the project, the purpose and scope of the project. After high level purpose of the project captured in introduction, in requirement overview, the business opportunity of the project, vision of the project are captured. In requirements overview, we will also outline the requirements in a precise and concise manner so that there is no ambiguity with what are the requirements and what is supposed to be achieved. In business flow diagram, the current as is process, the to be process or the target state are captured. And then there is a functional decomposition diagram which defines different functions of the project 
of the business requirement. The difference between as is and to be process diagrams can actually show the progress that will be made by these requirement completions. Business requirement document can also capture functional requirements at a very high level so that the business users or the reader of the document can also have a view of the different functionalities that the delivery of the project will cover. It is also important to define the dependency on different data and data sources. Different data source owners need to be made aware of the current functionalities data requirements and the changes they may need to implement there in their own systems. Any internal or external dependencies of the project needs to be clearly defined and the people who are responsible for these dependencies need to be made aware of their responsibilities. Any internal or external dependencies of the project needs to be clearly defined and the people who are responsible for these dependencies need to be made aware of their responsibilities. Any constraints which can affect the delivery of the project or effectiveness of the project need to be clearly mentioned and all the relevant stakeholders should be made aware of the same. In appendix you may need to capture any reference documents or reference files that have been used to create the business requirement document or any reference communication that needs to be part of the business requirement document but not part of the main body. While capturing the business requirements in the BRD, it is important to keep in mind that the requirements being captured should adhere to the below checklist. Requirements should be realistic and time bound which means that there should be clear timelines defining the requirements and their deliveries. As requirement document is used by multiple stakeholders, it is very important that the requirements captured should be unambiguous and complete. There should be no confusion on what is written in the requirement. As bigger projects can have multiple requirements to be delivered, it is important that requirements are prioritized depending on their criticality. All the internal or external data or input dependencies for the requirements to be successfully delivered should be clearly defined in the document. A business requirement document is usually not a standalone document and there are multiple documents being created along with the business requirement document. It is very important that any indexation or referencing to the other document should be clearly mentioned with the requirements. We have come to the end of this video. So if you like our video, don't forget to share. You can also subscribe our YouTube channel, which is Capital Markets Easy. Or you can drop us your queries on our email, that is capitalmarketseasy at gmail.com. No spaces, please. Hope you like these videos. Keep on sending back your queries. Thank you.